Hi everyone, I'm coming to you from my shop today, trying to switch things up a little bit. Sorry if there's background noise. People are mowing lawns in the middle of the day in 90 degree weather. It's fine. I upload every single Sunday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you never miss an upload. Today's video is all about picture ledges, a really easy project that can be done in a day. It's super versatile and it makes a huge impact. I've used these picture ledges in almost every room in my house at some point or another with all of my evolving decor styles over the years. I think they're the perfect timeless decor option when you're looking to fill a wall space and you're not really sure how to do it, and they go with every decor style whether it's boho, mid-century modern, traditional, farmhouse, really every style. So stick around to the end of the video and see how I styled them. If you like this video while you're watching, give it a thumbs up and let's get started. Okay guys, meet Hillary. She's not a regular mom, she's a cool mom and she happens to be my kid's stepmom. Hillary has amazing style and I'm obsessed with this green wall she has in her upstairs hallway. She wanted a place to display all the kids' artwork and family photos, and she mentioned one day that she'd been eyeing these picture ledges from Pottery Barn. They were going to take over a month to ship, and I was like, let me just build them! I'm all about buying high-quality, well-made decor from my favorite retailers like Pottery Barn, but if it's something I know I can build and I can build it for less, that is so much more fun for me. We started combing through her treasure trove of art projects and family pictures, and we laid everything out on the floor to get an idea of how it was going to look up on the wall. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Rewind. Let me show you how I built these first. I wasn't joking when I said this can be done in a day, and with minimal effort. You cut some boards up, you glue and nail them together, and then you finish it how you want. It's so easy. I started with a huge piece of poplar that was 6 inches wide. I cut it to 61 inches to make it more manageable on the table saw. My final shelf size is going to be 60 inches long, so I'll tell you later why I start with the boards at 61 inches. I ripped down 3 pieces for each shelf. One at two inches, one at three inches, and one at four and a half inches. Nail gun ready, let's do this. I gathered up all the pieces of my first shelf and did a quick little dry fit to make sure everything lined up well. I grabbed the three inch and the four and a half inch boards first. I clamped the three inch board flush to my workbench to make sure it was stable and straight. And then I spent the next 10 years trying to open the glue bottle. Dear glue bottle people, please make it easier for this idiot to open your bottle. Thanks. I ran a little bead of glue all along the bottom edge of the four and a half inch board, and then I secured it to the three inch piece. I always start by nailing each end as a bit of a placeholder and then I flip the boards over to make sure that both boards are flush with each other before I nail the rest. I push the boards flush together with my hands, but if one spot of the board is particularly stubborn, I'll just use a clamp and make sure that they're flush. Okay, here's a fun little tip. If you have a sticker on a piece of wood, or a sticker on anything really, that you want to remove, don't pick it off or soak it off. Try turning your blow dryer on high heat and warming the glue up a bit. That sucker will peel right off. Cool, huh? Next up, I attached the two inch piece to the front of the ledge in the same way that I attached the first two. Nail the two ends first and then make sure everything is flush and straight. I told you this was so easy. Okay, now to show you why I made the first cut longer than the final measurement. 
I like to leave a little extra so I can cut each end off to ensure that I have a flawless edge. I cut the first end off and then I measure from that cut side to the other end with my exact final measurement. Then I make that cut and I'm left with perfectly flush and smooth ends. Next I filled in the nail holes with some wood putty just using my finger and then I waited for it to dry and hung out with you guys on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, I post a bunch of behind the scenes stuff there so come say hi over there if you haven't already. I sanded off the excess wood putty and gave the whole thing a good and proper sanding to prep it for stain. Now I stained these, but you could leave yours raw wood and just clear coat it, or you could paint it with chalk paint or spray paint, any color that you like. There's so many options with this thing. I grabbed my go-to stain in the color Early American, big shocker, I use it for everything. I coated each shelf well, wiped off the excess, and let it dry for 24 hours before I threw on a coat of spar urethane to protect the wood and keep it looking schnazzy. Now let's see how they look in their new home. Like I said before, we started off by laying out all of the options. Hillary has collected so many sweet art projects her kids have done, and she had a mountain of family photos and things that are sentimental to them that she wanted to display. She chose a wide variety of picture frames from Ikea, and we just went to town picking and choosing and seeing what worked. She was going for more of a collected vibe, and I have to say, I think this is such a perfect way to go if you're struggling to narrow down a bunch of meaningful art. I measured the wall making sure the picture ledges would hang in the center and knowing they were going to hold a bit of weight I made sure that they were really secure and screwed all three into the wall studs. There is no perfect science to this next part. We literally just started placing all the frames up on the shelves one by one and then stood back and decided what worked and what didn't and then rearranged a dozen times until we liked the result. And here's the final product, guys. Remember what the wall looked like before? Here's what it looks like now. Oh, I love it. Rather than keeping pictures stored on a computer or in a box, they're up on the wall to see every day. I also love that the pictures and art can be switched out at any time, the frames can be moved around, and this whole wall can change whenever Hillary feels like it. And last but not least, let's talk about how much money was saved by building these myself. Three of these picture ledges only cost me 106 bucks, guys. This was such a fun and easy project, and I'm so happy with the result. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I upload every single Sunday, and I can't wait to see you back here next week.